you can download MS Teams desktop application. You just Google download MS Teams and uh, the first link you will get is Microsoft.com and uh, you will be able to download MS Teams desktop application from there. So from here you can go and the download your MS Teams application. I have already downloaded and installed MS Teams. So uh, initially when you launch MS Teams, you see Teams over here and uh, when you don't have Teams, you have an option to create a team and uh, most of the time initially you have a different view. So the first view that uh, you get in uh, MS Teams is uh, this view where we have the, the Teams and you can create or uh, join a team from here. You can always go into the settings and you can manage teams, you can switch view, you can choose the different theme and uh, in the list view the advantage is that you can switch between the teams very quickly just like this from here and uh, to create a new team you just go and uh, you choose that you want to create a team and in create team you have several options and uh, in this case we are going to create a class so i will just create a new class and uh, this is the name of the class that would be visible to everyone and you can put some uh, description and you can go next and it will create you can search for the students and you can search for the teachers to add in the team but uh, if you have a bigger class it would be not a good idea to add them manually so you can skip that step and you see that this is a uh, test class for demo is already uh, is just created and you see a, a, a general channel over here and in the team you see some posts files class notebook assignments and the grades so this is something that is by default available and you can uh, upload the class material as well uh, under the files and uh, you can also create the class notebook where uh, all the stu students can collaborate so in the files you see the class material and you can uh, upload different files and all the files are managed over here and you can have different options to copy the link and share and you can also download and do other things and uh, you can manage the team from here you click on this uh, these three dots and you can add different channels you can add a member you can leave that team you can edit that team and you can manage other things so let's manage team so in manage team uh, we can add different members over here from uh, this option and uh, if you don't want to add members manually and uh, you want them to join by themselves you can go into the settings and uh, you can go into the team code and you can generate a code for that team so you can provide that code to everybody who should be joining that class so you can share that code with them you can also reset that code and you can also remove that code so once uh, everybody has joined you can just remove that code and that code will not be available anymore you can also choose some different options in the settings such as uh, team theme uh, uh, member permissions such as uh, let's say for example uh, allow members to create and update channels so if you want to allow the students to do that uh, owners can delete all members and all members to create the update and remove uh, connectors and these are some options that are available and you can choose and uh, decide which options you want to give to your students uh, they also introduce new thing that is analytics uh, analytics are not uh, because we don't have much data over here so I can go into some existing theme and show you the analytic part so in analytic I am getting the summary, I am getting the active users and uh, that's overall uh, the summary of that specific class and uh, you can see that these are the meetings that we have been uh, doing so uh, this is something that you can uh, see the analytics about the class 
uh, when someone uh, send a request manually to join this uh, team you get these uh, these requests over here let's say for example i have this request over here and uh, you can choose between uh, uh, accept and deny the request to join this room let's say for example if i accept this so that student would be added into this uh, team on the left menu you have activity chat activity is something that you get the notification if somebody send you a message somebody comment on the on your post uh, in the chat you can uh, chat with anyone in your organization within your class as well and uh, you have uh, your own area with each member you can also do the screen sharing the call and the voice call and the video call as well and you can also manage files with uh, each individual uh, member and you can share that as well you can uh, also create a new chat from here you can search anyone from your organization just keep writing just by writing the name and uh, you can do the chat and in the chat we also have some more options over here when we send the message we have uh, formatting options as well you can discover uh, more options from uh, this menu we can go into the teams we can switch between the teams and uh, we can manage the different things from here so this is a kind of overview and this is the back button you can uh, navigate to the previous view from uh, this back option so if uh, you want to go back anytime you can just click on this and then it will navigate you to the uh, backward to schedule an online class you can go to the calendar and inside that calendar you can add or you can schedule a class so it's fetching my already scheduled classes so you can choose any time slot let's for example i want to schedule a class every monday let's for example uh, 11 am i can just click on this if you are familiar with google calendar uh, that's very much similar so let's for example online session you can give it any name let's say online session one with that class and uh, you can also add uh, some required attendees let's for example if you want to invite someone in in this class you can do that this is optional you can choose the date and you can choose the timing let's say for example you want to have a class from uh, 11 to let's say for example uh, 12 or 12 30 and uh, you can also because when you are uh, teaching online uh, you want to repeat that class or the same schedule so every weekday means that this will be repeated every day and you might don't want to choose this so if you choose weekly it will actually uh, schedule this class every monday from uh, this time to this time you also need to choose the channel so we have created this uh, test class demo and i need to choose the channel let's say for example journal so this class is for this channel all the people in this channel and in the in this class and in this channel should attend this class i can add brief let's say for example uh, uh, follow these and you can send so when you send this this notification will be sent to all the members in your class and it will take a bit time to schedule this class and uh, it's not available because it's uh, scheduling so you see that this class has been scheduled and uh, we are not done over here we need to modify the settings uh, with the help of uh, meeting options so meeting options will uh, launch this uh, in uh, ms teams in the browser and uh, by default in meeting options everyone can present so you need to modify that and, and also who can pass the lobby you can say that everyone can pass the lob lobby otherwise people will wait in the lobby and then you need to uh, accept their invitation uh, 
the announcement you can turn that off because you don't want to be announced during the class and here this is the important thing that who can present by this uh, everyone every student can present every student will have the full control in your class they can remove people they can add people in your class and they they will have the full control in the class so use you can choose this option to have uh, only me so that only you can present and you can share the screen and so on so you need to do this modification and this will be applied to all the classes uh, in your uh, so that's how we can uh, add schedule a class like this and you see that it's uh, in the post so whenever uh, the time comes a notification will pop up and you can always go and see the detail of this class and uh, you can uh, go back in your teams you can go back into your class and uh, you can modify this and uh, you can see the meeting details over here so whenever this uh, on every Monday whenever this time comes you will see this you will see a join option over here and you if I navigate to the next week you see that this class is scheduled so once your class has been started you can see the attendees over here you can also invite others and you have some suggestions also so to invite others you can just uh, select one and then you can ask to join and then it will ring and then ask them to join uh, you can you are the only presenter if you have made the settings to that so that you are the only presenter otherwise everyone can be a presenter you can also mute all the attendees by default they are already muted so you can uh, mute all if uh, most of them are speaking and their uh, mic is somehow turned on uh, they cannot present if they want to share their screen you want to make or you have to make any one of these as an attendee so you can make them as a presenter from here so uh, that will become a presenter and now they have uh, they will have the option to share the screen that we have right now to, right now over here and uh, again if uh, that participant has is, is is done with the presentation you can make that uh, participant as or the presenter as the attendee back again and you can change that so in this way you can control the class and also there is a new feature today's hand so uh, this can be used by the students so that students can raise hand and you can see over there you can also switch between the uh, the people and the messages so you can also chat so this is the chat and uh, you can also uh, chat over here you can write any text you can reply to those you can see that and you can switch between that you can also share the screen uh, you can make the settings of the device and there you can choose and select the microphone and the you can also choose choose the headphone and i have two microphone one is the built built in one and the another is the external one so i can also choose that i can also choose to have a webcam and uh, i can also end the meeting i can start the recording of this uh, this meeting and that would be recorded and will be uploaded automatically on microsoft stream and I can uh, end the meeting I can also turn off incoming videos like this and uh, uh, similarly I can uh, share the screen from here and I can also unmute myself and I can also turn camera on from here and uh, uh, in the sharing screen uh, normally we have the options to share the apps I can also share the applications I can also choose to share the entire screen from here and this screen will be shared with the students I can also choose to have the whiteboard to share and if I want to write something over there and that's how I can share the screen and I can end the sharing of the screen 
and meanwhile during the meeting I can also navigate to other options let's say for example if I want to go back to the teams and then I want to see that what's happening in other teams and if I want to post something I can view assignments or I can go and see the chat and other activities or any other alerts so I can also do that during the meeting and if I if I click click that back again I will be back in the bigger view of this meeting so that's how we can manage things during the meeting and we can also send the message if I select one I have some uh, options over here let's say for example I can see the details and I can I can actually chat with that student and I can perform other operations uh, as well so that's how we do and do things during the meeting and we can manage things so once you are done with the meeting you can end the call because uh, hang up uh, will actually you will leave the class but ending this that you are actually closing the class and uh, once you are leaving it will actually close this session and you will not have any option to join the session again and you see a brief summary over here I have been recording this session so it's preparing on uh, Microsoft stream uh, this recording and once it's done it will be available over here uh, and you can see the number of participants who has been actually joining the team and you can also rate this uh, video call or the class that you have conducted online so once the recording is uh, done and uh, it's prepared by Microsoft stream you can uh, open in uh, Microsoft stream to see more options you can uh, modify this video and do and framing and other things let's say for example if you want to go and download this video you can replace entire video you can also do some more changes such as update video details you can also trim that video maybe some parts of the video you want to remove uh, it will open uh, a small editor and in that you can remove some parts of the video let's say for example this is the uh, frame let's say if I want to remove some parts from the end so I can do that let's say for example in the beginning I've been waiting for the class to come and join I can remove that part let's say for example and actually after four minutes I started delivering the lecture so I can also review from here that uh, which part I should remove and which part I should not remove I can do that and I can just apply the changes so once I apply the changes it will trim that part of the video and it will take some time to prepare the video so that after some time uh, the same video will be replaced and will be trimmed and uh, you can modify small modifications can be done with the recorded lectures as well to take the assignment and the quiz you can go to the assignments tab so quiz and assignments are under assignments tab you can create a new assignment and you can create a new quiz you can attach existing assignment and you can also add an existing quiz so let's just talk about the assignments so you can create the assignment and the quiz you can also choose from the existing so let's create a new assignment so over here you have the option to add the title let's say assignment 1 you can add some description and you can add the resource let's say for example if you want to add some files where you have the assignment description you can also choose from the OneDrive uh, class notebook or you can upload from your device let's say for example if I choose the assignment from here it will upload done and I can also specify the rubrics and the points let's say for example 40 points for this assignment and uh, you can also assign this to uh, different channels and uh, if you have a multiple channels you can do that uh, I will choose all the students because normally assignment is for the all the students and we can also choose the due date from the calendar 
and uh, one another thing is that we can also turn uh, allow the uh, late turn in so let's for example if i say that the close date is this so the assignment posts uh, will be posted immediately i can also schedule that and uh, the late turn is not allowed so if i allow the late turn in so let's say for example 30th may is the deadline and i say that 31st is the late turn in so i can assign this and it will be assigned immediately to the students and you see over here the assignment and that will be that would be posted as a, as an uh, as a message on the general channel so you see that this is the assignment so whenever you modify the assignment this assignment will be uh, reposted again let's say for example if i go back in the assignments and i edit the assignment and let's say for example if i extend the deadline to 31 and if i update and if i go back in the post you see that this is the notification that everyone will get that assignment due date has been changed so that's how you can do the assignments so let's uh, have a look at the already created assignment so that you see that how it looked like when someone submit the assignment so i will go in the assignments and these these are the assignment let's say for example if i go back i get the overview that how many turned in the assignment i can see that uh, how many hours somebody turned in late the assignment because late turn in was allowed so and you also see that who did not turn in the assignment over here and uh, I can also provide grades over here uh, and uh, you see the graded assignments and you can also see that what is this student view and how this assignment will be viewed to the students and uh, that's all about the assignments you can also export uh, the result in as an export as in Excel and that's all about the assignments to take an online quiz you can go to the assignments you can create a quiz or you can choose from the existing so if I choose to create a quiz I can choose from uh, existing forms and uh, I can also create a new form it will go to forms.office.com so all the forms associated with your account will appear over here so these are my forms and we also have a group forms over here so i can create a new quiz from here which was an untitled quiz 2 i al already have an untitled quiz so it's naming uh, quiz 2 so i can say that this is quiz 1 and uh, i can add a question i have several options let's say for example uh, mcq type text input rating style date and uh, i can also put a grid style i can also upload a file and I, I can also create different uh, sections and uh, ranking as well so to create a MCQ type I can just click on this and uh, let's for example question 1 and correct option this is option 2 I can add multiple options like this and I can mark that this option is the correct one and I can also specify the how much weightage this question is that for example I give one point to the person who uh, give the correct answer I can also say that this is the required so uh, you must answer this and uh, you can also choose between the multiple answers so if uh, we have a multiple options we can uh, show the check boxes and I can also choose between the shuffle options so in the shuffle it will be shuffle the options uh, to every student and uh, similarly I can just make a duplicate from here and it will create another copy this is the question number two and this is the correct option 
and these are the other option let's suppose I make it the radio button and this is the one point as well and this shuffle option is already there so it's a better thing that if we set up the first question and then we duplicate that question and this question will be uh, you can modify that you can preview that that how it will look like and uh, you see that these options are shuffled so if I choose this option and if I choose this option as well or the other option if I submit so it will look like this I can view the result and you see that this is the correct and this is incorrect so that's the view that student will see and you see that all the responses will be recorded and in a very nice graph and you can see uh, that how they will look like you can open in Excel as well and you see that how many responses has been received and what it what is the average score and uh, you can also post the score there are some more options that when you create a quiz like this this is the uh, quiz one you can go back over here you can create a quiz and uh, you can uh, choose from the existing let's say for example And existing means that it's already in any of the class you can choose from there and if you choose the quiz let's for example this is the quiz one that is associated with my account I can go next and I can uh, do some settings over here let's say for example what is the due date and uh, so on so if I save this this uh, quiz will be available to the students so this is the quiz it's not created because I did not assign it so I can choose it from here uh, but most of the time that quiz is uh, very time limited uh, to do that you can do another thing that is you can you can go into the share options and you can say that uh, only people in my organization can respond anyone with the link can respond by choosing this option anyone with the link can respond you will not be able to track that who actually filled this quiz you will not get the name and you will not get the email address and you will not be able to mark that quiz because that is not associated with any student so you need to choose that only people in my organization can respond you can copy that link and you can share that link with the students let's say for example I come in the general and in the post I can say that I can share that link but how do I control that who is going to perform that quiz and what are the settings of for this quiz so actually there are some settings over here let's say for example uh, I can choose that when this quiz is open and when I close I can also choose between the start date and the end date and I can also choose the timing I can also choose that I want to shuffle the question because the options are already shuffled but I also want to shuffle the questions from uh, all the questions and uh, whenever I say that I don't want to accept the response let's say for example I open this for the 10 minutes so I uh, uncheck this when 10 minutes are over and the uh, student will not be able to submit that quiz and how about that how many students and which students spend how much time in uh, while taking the quiz because there is no timer and you don't see that if student has spent five minutes and ten minutes let's say for example if you open the quiz for the ten minutes and the actual attempt time is five minutes so to do this uh, you can uh, go into the forms and uh, I will uh, open some other so let's say if I open this quiz I can see the responses this is the average score and status is closed and you see the nice graphs over here that uh, how many actually answered the questions and how many are correct and I can open in Excel
So you see that over here we have a start time and we have a completion time. And uh, from the start time and completion time, you can calculate that how much time has been spent by a student. So I can actually go and insert another column. And I will say that start time, so completion time minus the start time. So over here we have this format. I can actually format this column. So if I right click and format cell, and that is uh, the time. So I want to get the time in this format. Let's say if I press OK. So you see that we have the start time and the end time and I can sort this. So you see that uh, this student spent 11 minutes and 10 minutes and actually if I say that this quiz was uh, the 5 minutes were allowed so I can see that these are the students who spent 5 minutes or less. So you can actually see that how much time they spent on a quiz. In quiz, you can also review individual answers of a student by choosing the review answer. You can change or navigate between the students and you can review their answers. You can also respond or the comment or you can give the feedback uh, to each student uh, by using this uh, icon. You can also uh, navigate through the questions so you can see that how many responses are actually correct for individual question. Let's say for example these are the questions that were in the quiz and uh, you can see that I can navigate between the questions as well. So that's a, that's a nice feature of uh, quiz and uh, you can also you can also choose a student from the list this is the list of the students you can choose a specific student from the here you can see the time to complete that how much time he spent and how much score he got you can also provide an overall feedback and you can say that for example well done something like this and you can send that to the students you can go back and you can post the scores from here To manage files, you can go into the files tab. You can see these recent files over here. You can also add uh, other cloud storage such as Google Drive, Dropbox. Uh, if you have the uh, cloud st uh, OneDrive storage already associated with your account, you can go and click on that. You can click on open in OneDrive. By default, uh, OneDrive is available on Windows 10. If you don't have OneDrive installed, you can download the OneDrive for the desktop. You can see all the files over here uh, in the OneDrive. You can upload files from here. But if you are uploading the large files such as video files, uh, it will take much time. So it's better if you choose to sync this so if you say sync now it will ask you to open the OneDrive and if OneDrive is installed on your uh, computer it will launch the OneDrive and it will sync all the files you will see OneDrive icon over here if it's not uh, already running you can go and search for the OneDrive So you see all files are synced. You can upload any video file over here. Let's say for example if I copy a video file. Let's say if I paste a video file over here. It will start the syncing. And you can monitor that through the async. OneDrive is uploading the file. And uh, you can see that it's uh, uploading. And the benefit is that, let's say for example, your internet connection is interrupted. Uh, it will resume the uploading of the files uh, uh, where it was left. Once the file is uploaded, you can uh, share the individual file and also you can share the entire folder. Let's say for example, if I want to share the individual file, I can just right click on it. I can choose the share option. 
it will open a dialog and will give you some options for the sharing it can say that anyone with the link can edit so you can actually modify this because otherwise students can delete or anyone with the link can delete this file and can manage these files so I will uh, disable this allow editing I will apply and I will copy that link and I can just close this I can go back into my team and I can share I can also make a hyperlink let's say for example I will select this and I will create a link or insert the link and this would be a link I can also choose that if I want to post on multiple channels let's say for example if I have created uh, different classes I can choose that I can also add uh, uh, another class as well if I am managing multiple classes and I can also choose this that this is the announcement or something like this and I can also choose that if everyone can reply or not and I can post that like this and I can verify that if this link is available to everyone I can check in uh, incognito now students can play this file by default it's a single video file so it's start playing and they can also download this file from here